Rob Appel, and I'm an art quilter, believe it or not. And uh, I've been working on this portrait quilt, and you're catching up with me right as I'm finishing by putting on the label, but I'd like to share with you some of the steps I'm going to go through. I'd like to take you through some of the tracing and the setup of the actual photograph. I'd like to take you through some of the layout of the actual pieces, the applique, onto the putting of the borders on, final, with a little bit of the machine quilting. Just a little piece by piece for you on how I like to make my portrait art quilt. So stay tuned, we've got multiple episodes for you. We really hope you enjoy. Okay, so here we have the equipment, standard desktop PC and an old school black and white printer. This is an HP 430, ink is fairly cheap, paper is fairly easy to come by and I uh, picked it up on Craigslist for less than a hundred bucks and uh, anyway, so there it is on the stand. I'm so sorry you have to see that. That's the litter box, but that's because we have new kittens, two of them matching twins. I don't know where the other one is at right now. There she is. Okay, sorry, back to work. Okay, next, here is the full printout, and that's the light table. That's the next major tool. I actually built that thing um, on an old drafting table. There it is, illuminated. Lights inside, one by six. Anyways, maybe we'll do another video on that later. But here is the photograph. Full size, so 38 inches by about 26 inches. This is the wrong side. I'm gonna flip it over real quick. Okay, aerial view. Hi, it's me, you're up above. Anyways, I'm going to trace. I'm giving it to you guys upside down, but it doesn't matter because I'm just looking for the color differences. And this here is a sharp Sharpie. The sharper Sharpies make the sharper lines. This is important, folks. So here we go. I'm just going to find the portions of the color, starting with the highlights on this particular. I guess it doesn't matter where I start. And I just create the shapes. The more intricate you make the shapes, the more you have to cut. I'm working on the transpose side. So these are the actual shapes that will be traced onto the fusible web. And we're going to find about three to five major color or shades within the person's face as we're working creating these lines, masking it out. So there you go. See if I can zoom in. There we go. Masking out the lines on the face. 